So in this video for Remnant 2, we are going through the secret bow that you need to get. And this one is going to require a little bit of progress into the game. You need to be in Losum, the main world Losum, because you've got Losum, you have Yasha, and you have Narud. Make sure you're in Losum, and you want to make like a lot of progress to the point where you are at the mental asylum. But when you're at the mental asylum, you need to continue until you've made natural progression to the point where you are given the soul key tribute then when you're at that point if you're not there yet carry on playing the game come back to the video but once you have that soul key tribute you'll know exactly what i'm about to explain so what you want to do is you want to go back to the asylum you need to go to the basement and you need to enter through that like web thing when you are in there if you have the night weaver stone doll you'll need to hand that in in the next room because that's going to give you the dream catcher melee weapon and you need that to get this done but as soon as you have that dream catcher what you need to do is you need to fast travel to nimway's retreat if that's how you said the character's name i wasn't really paying attention to the dialogue but when you get there she is going to be sleeping go up to her with the dream catcher and it's like a band that goes around her wrist you basically want to interact with that like you want to hit it and i think you can do it by pressing or holding down i just held down my left mouse button and what it's going to do is take her dream from her it's like this little orb thing is going to go into her inventory and it's called nimway's dream then what you want to do is go into your inventory and put the dream into one of your quick slots i tried using it directly from my inventory and it didn't work so i popped it into one of my quick slots come out of my inventory and use the item then what it's going to do is basically spawn this like portal thing on the floor you're going to be teleported to a completely different area now inside this dream is going to look like you're basically on this tiny platform but you can walk on i'm just going to call it water for the sake of it and pretty much what you want to do from where you spawn in the direction you're facing you just want to walk pretty much straight forward you'll be able to tell where you need to walk because if you look at what i'm going to say is the wall you'll see there's a lighter section of the wall so just keep following the same direction i went a little bit over to the left of it but you want to just keep walking in the exact same direction until you come to this blue glowing item that is hovering off the floor and again the pronunciation is going to suck but i think it's like a Namie's Echo or something like that. Once you've got that, you want to turn around, open up your map if you need to, and locate the checkpoint. You should be able to see like a red sort of glow if you just turn around and have a look, but you can use your map as well. Go back to the checkpoint, leave that area, go back to Ward 13, and then if you go and talk to Ava McCabe, the one that like basically crafts your mods and also your new weapons, you are going to see the Crescent Bow available to craft. It's a really, really good bow to use in the game there are a bunch of different bows in this game and i think they're all fantastic but as long as you've made enough progress to the point where you can go to nimway's retreat with the dream catcher you will easily be able to get your hands on the crescent bow i think it's actually called the crescent moon or something like that but it's a really really good weapon i think you guys might enjoy it and that is exactly how to get it in remnant 2 and on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.